What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in spin tires with something insane, something crazy. This is a off-road Hummer H3 well limo. That's what this is. It's not um it's not anything that you would use for any kind of practical application in spin tires. It's not anything you would use really for any kind of practical application at all. Um but the add-ons really include nothing more than the tire on the back and um this TV and bar on the inside, which can actually, you can see, can be um, removed if I, well, there we go. It can be removed, but it looks a lot better uh, with it actually in the vehicle. So, let's not spend any time uh, just looking at this thing. Let's go drive it because the second I saw this thing available like for download, and I will link to this one because I know exactly where I got this from, and I know that this one is a, is, is a safe file to download, I will definitely link it in the description box below because it's absolutely hilarious to drive. I've only driven it maybe a minute and a half before starting to record this, but it's one of those vehicles where you can already tell that it's just it's there purely for uh, for for having a laugh. That's what this is for. This is there for for knowing that it's not meant to do anything productive or or um, or focus on anything specific in the game except for being a fun vehicle to drive. And the first person view actually kinda sorta works. It's like right in the middle. It's not a view I would drive in, but I can see that if somebody really wanted to use first person view, they would have that as an option. Now, as you can imagine, the length of this vehicle makes maneuverability a little bit tricky, but it's actually really, really fast, which adds a lot of character to it. It adds a lot of character to it in the fact that this will beat, I mean, this will absolutely beat the GMC 6x6 in a straight line. No contest, no doubt about it. Uh, it is absolutely insane in a straight line. Now, that not only helps it with in terms of speed, but it actually also helps it in terms of being able to climb up stuff because the thing is, you're not going to be doing any rock crawling in this. I mean, we're even having trouble right now with a small little dirt mound, but at the same time, you wouldn't expect it to be good at rock, uh, rock crawling because of the fact that, I mean, it's already bottoming out. It's already bottoming out, which is why it comes with 2,200 repair points. So, again, you gotta think of the priorities with this vehicle. You are not going to be doing any, like, any focused off-roading where you're gonna be focused on one, like, specific goal or, like, let's climb this, uh, this hill or let's, let's, you know, let's try and set a lap time around the off-road park map. This is not for that. This is, whoa, okay, and it's gone. Is it gonna roll back over, though? Oh, I almost thought it was going to. It was actually really close to rolling back over. Oh, man. It drove for a second. It drove for like a split second. You know what? We're going to respawn it back at the garage and we're going to drive up the other way. Because this does much better on the roads than it does um, in the woods or in the dirt or in the mud or anything like that. I mean, again, as you could expect it to. But still, it's hilarious to try and put this thing in situations where it really was never meant to go in the first place. The only thing that would make this uh, that make this vehicle better is, is if there were actual, uh, if, if they actually had people in the back. Like, if they actually had people in here that would get, like, just thrown all over the place and tossed all over the place over jumps and, you know, bumps in the road and everything like that. That would complete this mod. But I, 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 I understand that, you know, that, that, that doesn't really apply to spin tires and it would be really hard to do that in spin tires. But as you can see, though, we're on the straightaway and it's fast. It really is quick for what it is. Anyway, nah, we're not going to go through there. We might as well not. There really is no point in going through there. I actually haven't even tried high with um, the high setting on the gearbox. I might go ahead and do that. As soon as I get a spot where I know I'll have enough speed to shift it. Go, go, go. Well, it's in high. And, I mean, yeah, it actually pulls a little bit better than it does, than it does in the automatic mode. It pulls, generally... When it's in the with, when it's in the water, it'll go in round about second gear. Now it's pulling. I would say it probably at about the speed of third. And it, sometimes it does get a little bit bogged down, but eh, you know it's all a trade off, really. It, I mean, you're gonna spin your tires a little bit more if you just leave it in high. But then again, at the same time, you will grab more traction and be able to get out of mud holes faster. So you really have to kind of plan in advance with this thing. Oh, oh, I know exactly what we're going to try. <laughs> this is not a good idea, and I don't recommend it, but I think these are actually pretty deep, so we can give it a shot. Oh, no, never mind. 
Never mind. I, that, was, that was a complete letdown. Oh, this one should be good, though. Yes, maybe, possibly. Eh, still not really. I thought that one was... Maybe this is just, like, more lifted than I think it is. Because it's doing really well through those mud holes. Now if we pop it back into auto, it'll shift around it right up to about 4th or 5th gear. And then once it stays up there, then it's fast. Now this is when it gets up to being fast. And then you put it back in high whenever you encounter mud. This is the one up here. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. I think. I hope. No, no, this one's completely tame. Never mind. I need. To, I think I need to give up on these mud holes because this this thing is just like every time I, I take it near a mud hole, it's just like no, oh, whatever, whatever. It, it, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't care. There's something on the other side. Yeah, okay. There is another road on the other side of the objective. Good. Good. I thought I was like completely out of road for a second. Oh my god. These roads are crazy. Ridiculous. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's the first one it's had a little bit of trouble with. I say trouble. I, I mean, for what it is, it, it plowed right through it, no problem. When I say it had a little bit of trouble with it, I'm comparing it to stuff like a, like an MAZ or a Kraz. But at the same time, there are, I mean, there are, in you know, certain instances where this would beat, would beat those. I mean, first of all, the turning radius is ridiculous for how long it is. And secondly, this is faster than both of those. So, again, you have to think about what your purpose is with using it. And if it's just for a fun vehicle, this just blows those out of the water. Absolutely blows those out of the water. It, yeah, there we go. Keeping it near the edge. And really, there has been no point in this video, aside from when we rolled it over, where I was worried that it wasn't going to make it over an obstacle or through an obstacle. Generally speaking, this thing has been really good in the fact that it has never never once tried to um, tried to get stuck or, or really let me down at all. It's always just constantly just continue to pull itself out of whatever whatever obstacle it's got in its way. Now, I do plan on testing this out on a couple of modded maps in the future. But until then, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check this thing out, then there will be a link in the description box below to where you guys can download it. But again, if you guys enjoyed, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.